Hey folks, it's me again, Markus Bornheim, Consulting Sales Engineer with Novaya, specialist on public safety and emergency services. So you have just seen Maxim being surprised, overwhelmed, happy after having a 3D experience uh, being presented by David of EXP360. Now, David, I think what we have seen within that first part is something where people, when they have this experience, say, wow, this is, I am in the scene. This is prepared content and prepared context. That's a great approach. So, do you think that there will be possibilities that we bring what you have created within Oceana Contact Center here from an offline but real immersive experience into an online real-time experience? Could you imagine ways of doing that? Um, will we? I hope so. Can I imagine ways of doing that? Um, yes, I think it's, it's very powerful, one, as we've seen on the emotional level, but also um, when, when, when you need to be very detailed or, or to see things really from a, in, a, in a room and in its environment. Yes. So um, I, I could imagine a scenario where to, to, to get support, you don't only really want to have somebody on via right. phone exactly. or via, via video, which is already great. I mean, we do steps. Yeah. However, if you can get somebody in to help um, in a fire scenario, Yes. Um, let, let's let's think. I don't know. Building is burning. I mean, you have obviously one dimension of is it safe to to, to go in? Yeah. Where is the fire? What kind of um, chemical do we need to get the yeah. fire out? The next thing is if it's a bigger building, it's probably you know structural integrity, and not every emergency um, person yeah. um, will have that knowledge. Right. So exactly. you also can't have everybody on standby all the time. So what do you do? So. I think it would be a natural step, maybe, hopefully, probably, um, to, to get somebody in and not only share a video, but to share a 3D experience in real time yeah. so that he can actually take a look around, see what, what dependencies are, whatever, I'm not a structural engineer, I can't tell you, um, whatever you, you want to look at, but get a real feel for the environment as well. So that was the long answer, the short answer is yes. So that, that's very, very promising. So I, I was just seeing you do this with a standard smartphone uh, as well, the central part to deliver and feedback the experience, right? So, how do you do this with the movements? Do you detect the position of the smartphone and where the smartphone is turned to with the yes. angles and the sensors? Is this what you're picking up? Yes, we're using all the sensors that we have available for the right. different experiences, and uh, from, from that we can. Uh, um, gather where the person is looking, for example, as we also showed earlier. And uh, this, this makes, in our previous example for the interoperative experience, yeah. in our um, emergency example, it's, it's a very, very practical and very, very important uh, aspect of it. Yes, exactly. So, so I could even think about scenarios where we take the technology that EXP360 are using for the immersive 360 degree scenario and take parts of the technology also into emergency calling. Just consider someone is calling from a smartphone and that smartphone could point to where the person is looking at, so where the actual location of the incident is happening. Just let your idea spin with that idea and I would be happy to share some of more of that conversation with you at a later point in time when we see maybe these technologies are coming into life in real life scenarios. So David, thank you very much for thank being you. with us today. Thanks. It was a real pleasure and it was impressive. It was a pleasure having you. Wonderful.